Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope everyone's doing great. I have wrigglers, but it's not what you think. Stick around and check this one out. Alright YouTube, when it comes to feeding my plecos here at TM Aquatics, I'm feeding all types of food. I am feeding Ebo, I'm feeding Hikari, I'm feeding Northfin, I'm feeding New Life Spectrum, I'm feeding some off-brand from Ken's, from Your Fish Stuff, etc. I've got so many different brands and types of food here in the fish room. It's crazy. But there's one brand of food and only one brand of food only that I feed to every one of my plecos, whether it's an Ancestress, a Pacoltia, a High Pancestress, and that food is extreme fish food. All of my breeding plecos, whether they're Ancestress, Pacoltia, High Pancestress, they all get the big fella in their daily staple mix. The smaller growouts get the cichlid peewee, and the very smallest of Pleco growouts get the Extreme Nano. However, there is one new food that Extreme is coming out with that is not out yet, and I happened to pick some up at the ACA Cataclysm event recently in Madison, Wisconsin, and that new food is Extreme Wrigglers. And that's what today's video is all about. Now the first thing that I noticed when I saw this food for the first time at the ACA Cataclysm event in Madison, Wisconsin was just the packaging. Extreme knocked it out of the park with this packaging with all the vivid colors and the varieties of fish that they're showcasing on the packaging. They're clearly sending a message that this food is going to be for virtually any type of fish, whether it's guppies or cichlids or mollies, platies, rainbow fish, it doesn't matter. This is going to be a food that you can feed to virtually anything that's in your fish room. So when I picked up this food at the ACA Cataclysm event, I was fortunate enough to get my hands on several sample packs of this food to try in my fish room without having to tear into this beautiful packaging by Extreme Aquatic Foods. Now at first glance, looking at the food, you can clearly tell who they're going after and who their target market is. All right, so a closer look at this food and it becomes very clear what other food that's already been on the market for a couple of years they're emulating here. The difference though between this food and that other food, my fish didn't take the other food at all. This food, however, my fish slam this food. Doesn't matter if it's the tiger barbs, rummy nose tetras, rainbow fish, corydoras, my fish love this food. But each piece is about a quarter inch long. You can see how thin and narrow these pieces are so it can be easily consumed by even the smallest of mouths. Let's go ahead, feed some of the fish, and we're going to see how they respond to this. Now this was just a small sample feeding here at TM Aquatics, but you could clearly see how the rainbow fish, Corydoras, Threadfinicaras, it didn't matter. Even some of my plecos came out of their caves to grab some of these wrigglers, and that's saying a lot because my plecos usually don't come out when the lights are on. But anyways, let's take a closer look at some of the ingredients and the nutritional information and find out a little bit more about what goes into this food. 
All right, so taking a look at the ingredient list here, the first ingredient is fish meal, followed by the binder, which is wheat flour, then krill, and then shrimp. So three out of the first four ingredients, high quality proteins. A couple ingredients later, they're tossing in some algae for those herbivores and those fish that need a little bit of green in their diet. Over here, the guaranteed analysis, 40% protein, 9% fat, 4.9% moisture, and you can see the rest. So that's what's going into this food and what your fish are gonna get out of it. All right, YouTube, well, there you have it. The first look of the new Extreme Aquatic Foods Wrigglers. Coming soon, I think. I know for me, this is gonna be a new staple here in my fish room at TM Aquatics. When I'm looking for foods, I'm looking for quality ingredients, and I need to make sure that my fish like the food. And this checks both of those boxes. Hey, Extreme. All right, YouTube, well, there you go. We're gonna wrap this video up. Now, full disclosure, I am not associated with Extreme. I'm not endorsed. I'm not sponsored. They didn't send this food to me. This just happens to be some food that I came across at the ACA Cataclysm event. I've been feeding it to my fish. They seem to enjoy it. There were no other videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd go ahead and spread the word. As far as when this food's gonna be available, I have no idea, and we're probably all gonna find out about it at the same time. So, anyways, we're gonna wrap this video up. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you taking time out of your day to watch one of my videos. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you feel so compelled, hit that subscribe button. Follow along the TM Aquatics journey. Anyways, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and until the next one, we'll catch you all later.